It's okay, Charlie. Charlie wants to fuck zombies. I'm giving Charlie a really fucked up backstory. He's a necrophiliac, so he is in paradise right now. Yeah. Okay, what what was the question again? Wow, Sorry. you didn't even listen to I'm the going. most important question. Do you think poop has ghosts? Like when you poop? poop? Come on, Charlie. You can do it. Come on, buddy. You got it. Uh, I'm, I'm coming. An adventure and talk about the topic tonight, which is ghosts. Rapists. What? Ghost rapists. Well, co coincidentally, I just watched a TV show where there was uh, a rapist ghost. Really? In the movie Ghost Dad? A ghost? Bill Cosby has sex with no, a uh, living woman as a ghost. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that's not the only living wo or living woman that he... It was totally consensual in the movie, though. Oh, uh, okay. I think I've seen that Where did the gun that I have at one point went? Where did that go? Oh, I'm He's playing this there. wrong game character. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Charlie. We're just cleaning this grill. Sorry, buddy, I didn't scare you. Hey, you. All right, let's enlist this guy. How do I? Hold on. How do I switch characters? So it's gonna be us three. I wonder if I can take someone else. Oh, you have to go to the bed to switch characters. No, I think us three will be good. I just wanted to see if she has the gun. Okay. Uh, you want to head north, east, west, or south? <laughs> I thought you were. You want to head north, east, west, <laughs> or uh, south? Let's go north east. All right, you ready? Let's go. I'm just glad to have a gun. I'm glad to have a gun too. Do you have plenty of ammo? Um, I don't know how. I, no, I have eight bullets. We'll go get some more ammo. We should we should have plenty of ammo at the spa locker. All right. Yeah, let's talk about Bill Cosby. All right, ghost dad. Free ghost dad. How many ghost dad? I, you know, I was regretting that when you told me this was the topic. I was like, how many damn references do <laughs> you make? All the references to ghost dad. Do you believe in ghosts, Joey? No, not at all. I'm trying to kill Charlie. That being said, is it possible to fear things that you don't believe in? Because ghosts terrify the fuck out of me. Maybe that's why you don't believe it, because you don't want to believe it. Well, they... I, I don't think it's tangible. But the idea of it terrifies the shit out of me. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of cases Something to be that... made for and against it. You know? Like, just the fact of something... Like, poltergeists. Something that can harm you that you can't hurt back. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty terrifying. It's... it's... Yeah, it is. <laughs> that being said, totally don't believe in ghosts. Yeah, I don't. I don't really believe in ghosts either. I mean, I know people who say that they've seen ghosts. All right, before. stream over. <laughs> yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> he remembers as a kid something traumatic happening. He never said what, mm -hmm. and uh, like he was. I think he said he was two. And something happened, and then he just remembers being somewhere else and perfectly safe. Someone put him there, but he doesn't know who. And his parents didn't know who either. That's weird. That's some weird yeah. stuff. That's pretty creepy. Like a gonna, good, a good spirit or something. That like saved his know. life. So we live in this, we live in this world, a society that's constantly being sur surveilled. You know what I mean? We're always being recorded. We have phones in our pockets all the time. And there's no increase whatsoever in the amount of videos and pictures of ghosts we have. And the same thing goes with, like, Bigfoot and that kind of stuff, too. Which I feel like Bigfoot's probably more realistic than ghosts at this point. 
you're assuming oh, that the oh, that cameras can pick up uh can actually pick up the presence you're right. of you're you're very that's very true that's very true know. but but if you say that ghosts or if you say that ghosts aren't able to be caught as um no, I don't want to talk to Charlie I want to pick this sorry okay so if ghosts are able to be photographed then all photographic evidence of ghosts up till now has to be thrown out you know what I'm saying so yeah I mean I don't know it's hard I think it's it's kind of hard for me to believe in ghosts especially I mean there are scientific there are scientific reasons and like chemicals that our brain makes up and can be experienced that give us the same kind of feelings and stuff that are associated with uh just kick that zombie in the nuts that are associated with <laughs> ghost sighting yeah so see I don't I I believe the people see stuff yeah. Oh, yeah. I believe like, that too. That the, that they, I mean, obviously, people see what they want to fucking see and believe what they oh, yeah. want to believe because you know we're all dumb as a species. But let's not get into that. <laughs> That's the next Extreme. one. Yeah. Um, but uh, who's? I think I was talking to Sam about this. No, someone else. A while back, which I've told anyone that listens. I don't think ghosts are. the spirits of the dead so much is I don't know how to explain it without sounding stupid uh, well just say it pro just say projections it. in time I can see that I've, I've heard of that theory before like like ghosts and energies so get, can yeah, get yeah, caught yeah. in like materials like around it so there's kind of like this residual like ghostly energy it's not necessarily not spirits, it, like, but it's it, no. like uh, say the the projection of a tragic, you know. Yeah, it's kind of like, like imprinted say, uh, on that area almost. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, like I uh, believe in. Like, I, I can like believe that. Hiroshima or uh, the other one, uh, Nagasaki or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like you wouldn't necessarily see melting like. Who knows? You know, you might see melting people there because a lot of people died there when we dropped the atomic bomb. Right. You know, like like that kind of stuff, or or like people say, Civil War soldiers and shit on battlefields. Oh, it's a graveyard. They were buried here. Yeah, because they died here. They just buried them where they you know fell. Right. Yeah. Basically, but you know, a lot of people died here, and that was a traumatic thing. It was you know. Brother versus brother and fucking just shit like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Like like the really violent kind of high type of energy. You know what I'm saying? Like even even not violent, but like like even emotional trauma or, or stuff like that, you know. Like oh, something yeah. that affected someone in such a way, even if they didn't die, like they they were still alive, but you know yeah like you don't necessarily have to die sitting. to imprint something like in yeah like let's say 100 years from now what i'm doing right now if something traumatic happened right now like i broke my leg or something yeah you know but that that had such an impact on me that i left that that imprint that imprint yeah yeah, yeah. But most of the time, it's, it's you know, okay, well, th this whole family was murdered here. Amneville, you know, yeah. or whatever. Amneville. Like that, which I don't, I think that's all crock of shit, but. <laughs> Probably. It is. They, they fucking made, I mean, they didn't make anything up because the family was murdered there, but like. Right. Oh yeah. Like the oh, haunting yeah. and all that. It was, it was used to sell a book and yeah, it became, can, yeah. what, six oh, movies? Okay. Yeah. An Eminem song. Really? <laughs> I think so. I didn't know that. It's good to see you. I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm him. Or he like references it or something. I mean, maybe. I just know I watched the one with Ryan Reynolds in it. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I've seen it. It's funny he was in one though. <laughs> yeah, that's the... it's too much, 
I'm just attracting zombies. I don't have like room for anything. I don't either. Is hey, where'd those people go? Did I scare them off? But no, that's that's my theory on ghosts. <laughs> yeah. See, that's a more believable theory than when you die, you become a ghost. I mean, if everybody who died became a ghost, there'd be so many ghosts everywhere because of the amount of people that die all the time. Yeah. It would be unavoidable. There's, I mean, I mean, there's also the argument that, okay, only certain people, you know... Because yeah, those, the people, the ones they can't let go or whatever, and don't right. move Unfinished on. Unfinished business, kind of, kind of deal. Which anybody that's any kind of fucking uh, anybody that's an atheist or doesn't believe in an afterlife or basically me, uh, yeah, or you know anyone, yeah. anyone that doesn't believe in any kind of afterlife or anything that believes in ghosts, they're, they're dumb because you're you're basically saying, okay, these these people haven't moved on to the afterlife. Right. Their spirit has, and it's still attached to the earth. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people that I find that are into the whole ghost thing too is, you know, they they don't believe in an afterlife, which I again I don't. Yeah. And superstitious bullshit, but yeah. that they that they think that that's fucking hypocritical shit. Uh, what uh, to believe in ghosts but not believe in an afterlife? Yeah, I think so at least. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, hey, it's when we die, we die. Kind of You know, there's no afterlife, <laughs> but, go but ghosts are real. Right. That's like saying that, there's an afterlife uh, right there. That's it. Well, yeah. Or type I mean, of it afterlife. would be an afterlife because you're because you're dead. Right. There's a car over here. I don't know if it's usable though. Ooh, car. Ooh. But, and again, I don't believe in ghosts, but the the thought of it, if they were or are real, it terrifies yeah. the fuck out of me. Yeah, yeah. I don't believe in ghosts only because I've never seen a ghost. Like, personally, maybe if I saw a ghost, yeah. I would change my mind. But, I don't know, I've never seen one, so I have no reason to believe. Hell, I wouldn't believe, I'm, I'm that kind of person, too, I would I don't believe in anything till I see it. I wouldn't believe my father was real if I didn't see him. <laughs> right. For real, though. So I mean, I, if... he, he raised me. <laughs> but... <laughs> well, besides that. Um, so if it so if ghosts, if ghosts were real, do you think it would be possible for science to prove that they were real? Like, is there any way we could even prove it, even if we have enough evidence? Like, you would have to to convince every person on the planet that it were true. You would have to somehow Ghostbusters one. What? You would have to capture oh, catch it. one. Yeah, yeah. You would have to catch one or one that was like like sentient. I don't know what you would call it. one that wasn't violent or one that knew that what they were. Right, that was like self-aware, like, like, I'm a ghost. Yeah, that yeah. knew that and was like, screw it, sure, I'll come with you. Assuming <laughs> they weren't attached to a place or an object, because yeah. that's a whole different subject. They'll be on Maury Povic, I was dating a uh, ghost. Is, is to take them like on national news or take them on a fucking world tour, you know, because you would still have people, well, how do you know it's a ghost? Right, right. Well, okay, I can well, see here. right the fuck through it. Not even that. Like you could say, it just it looks like a normal person. It'd be okay because a lot of a lot of them are depicted as either as normal people or someone yeah. that was violently murdered. And they've got bloody wounds on them. Not like the you know floaty tail Casper bullshit, but right, yeah, is but prove that. Well, look, they're transparent. Like I can. Well, how do you know that they're not just a hologram? Well. You know, and like, there's so much you would have to, so many things you'd have to do to prove, and you'd have to do it to so many people. Like, every person would in the world would basically have to go up and like karate chop their hand through it. Holy shit, this <laughs> thing's that thing was scary know. looking. Holy shit, you're never gonna prove to. It's the same with Bigfoot and all that. You're never gonna prove or disprove to everyone in the world that it's real or not real. Like yeah. yeah, 
useful. You like actually have it in your hands and people can look and see it with like their own eyes. And even then you're gonna have people who doubt it. Exactly. There's no Because it's just it's no one pleasing of those everybody. Things, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah. How the fuck do I turn my I have for, I have forgotten how to turn my damn flashlight on. <laughs> it's the uh, stick. Push the stick in. I think your left one. There we go. Thank you, Hunter. <laughs> no problem. All right. Is that? Did we search this whole building now? Wasn't that the goal? I guess. Potential home site. I have no clue. Well, it is. You can see where you can put stuff. Like buildings and stuff, or a garden, or whatever the hell. I don't know. I kind of like our house now. What do you think? We can have uh, another base. Oh, we though. have to. We have to clear it out. Yeah, it's not cleared out yet, but I'm just saying. Okay. I don't. I mean, that's the whole point of this, isn't it? To like expand. Sure. Oh, there's this scary-looking zombie here. You look at this thing. It's all covered in blood. Oh, it's gross. Sorry, guy. Kill you. Yeah. Might live here. I haven't decided if I'm if I'm gonna live here, but just in case, I'm gonna have to kill you anyway. Oh. I feel like that's probably how you attract more survivors. Or make it... I don't, I don't know. What? I don't what do know mean? how this game what? works. Is to, like, get another base. Like, okay, you can put more people here. Oh, yeah. I think you can... You know, you more can, communities like, and stuff. Supply, like, um, store more supplies and stuff, too. I don't know. I, I feel like it's such an outlandish thing to believe in, though. Ghosts? Yeah, especially, like, these days. It's kind of silly to believe in ghosts now. I was going to say, I say that, and I still find myself watching fucking ghost adventures because... It's funny. It makes me laugh. <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. Yeah. I love it. I like That's that weird it. kind of paranormal That's shit. Why. Even though I don't necessarily believe in a lot of it, I like watching videos and stuff about it because it's just kind of... I don't know. It's interesting a little bit. Like, what if? What if well, there were ghosts? Kind of makes your mind... Well, what if? Yeah, but it's just so damn ridiculous. Just just all the, all the reality show. Reality, and I use that term... Very, very loosely, or you know, yeah, oh, not yeah. at all for what it means. <laughs> yeah, but I know what you mean. Like portrayed <laughs> as reality. Yes, all these actual shows uh, are fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, they like, are. It's like comedy. Maybe like ghosts just like to hang around and be pervy, like they do in real life. Because think of all the through. pervy ghosts creeping around in your bathroom well, waiting for some for you to get naked. I'd Possible. like to meet one right now. If they, if they can touch me, you can touch me. Oh my god. I just want you to know you can I I am not opposed to a ghost hand. I'm, I'm I'm sorry I'm sorry to do this, but once again, ghost dad. It all it all ties back to ghost dad. <sighs> so how do you explain Ouija boards, huh? It, someone else moves it. One you of the really people that's so? using it moves it. Yes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't I've actually know. heard this. I've heard that there's such thing as, like, your subconscious desire that kind of moves it without you thinking about it. Seems a little esoteric, but I, I mean, don't know. so does maybe. so do ghosts. Gunter, we're I guess going it this depends way. on which. Oh, okay. There's a there's a carport. We were talking about cars. Oh oh yeah, let's get a car. Oh wait 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 yeah we're going this way. So when our minds can't when our minds can't explain something, do you think that it kind of fills stuff in for us? Like if we hear a noise, or like we see something that's unexplainable, do you think our mind possibly causes you to hallucinate almost? This zombie has a helmet on. Yeah. To kind of I make do, up. For I do think that. Yeah, I can believe that. I can believe so, that too. Well, you, when you experience something that you can't explain or even comprehend, mm -hmm. it's easier for your mind. You're to gonna find a way. Blanks almost. You're gonna find a way to rationalize it. You're gonna find an explanation. Yes. Yeah, and ghosts could be one way of explaining that. Even yeah. though there's probably more reasonable, logical explanations for it 
we're kind of saturated with ghost with we're kind of saturated with ghost culture and you know that kind of yeah, movies so always, games so our mind wants to go back, there even ghosts like we've always had an obsession with with death yeah like what because it's unexplainable no one knows no one's come back to tell you well this is what happens you know because you don't know yeah so ghosts are another way of explaining like, like the afterlife almost yeah 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 and it's i think some people find comfort know. in ghosts almost you know like I yeah mean, you yeah mind. you're dead but you know, i can still talk to you i can still see you you're still here it's kind of like well because we all want to we all want to communicate with right someone you know, everybody who's my if there's anybody or... in the world exactly if there's anybody in the world that, that says they don't want to talk to a dead loved one mm -hmm. at least one yeah they're, they're lying. lying to you oh yeah oh yeah no, and that's that's a lot of where the ghost thing comes from is people want to explain. Yeah. Because you've got the people that even the subtle like, I was having a rough time in my life and I, I wanted this to happen and I was close to my grandfather and he really liked birds and yeah. You now I was this close to killing myself and then a, you know a a, a hummingbird flew by my window and that yeah. was. His favorite bird, and I knew he was telling me. Yeah, and that's, yeah. But I mean, at the that's... same time, shut the fuck up. <laughs> right. Like, you can believe you know, what you want to believe. I don't care, but, you know, that's kind of If you need to see a hummingbird to not, to not kill yourself, then uh, <laughs> you should sure. probably kill yourself. <laughs> wow. Just We're saying. Going there. We're going there. What? <laughs> Because I'm a piece of shit. You know I'm a piece of shit. It's fine, man. That's why I love you. I've accepted <laughs> your Fuck I've you. accepted your shittiness, man. How do uh, I drop stuff? Can I drop stuff? Move, Charlie. Ooh, I should not have done that. But Charlie just. Charlie's going at him with the freaking... That zombie. <laughs> yeah, he's going after him. He's... He kicked her right in the puss. <laughs> okay, Charlie. Charlie wants to fuck zombies. I'm giving Charlie a really fucked up backstory. He's a necrophiliac, so he is in paradise right now. Yeah. He's actually the cause of the zombie apocalypse. He's okay, you're stretching it too far now. He's actually a scientist who has spent his entire life's work trying to perfect bringing back the dead to life so he can have sex with them. And this this is what you did to us. This is what you did. This is all your fault, and Charlie. Stream over. <laughs> no, we have we actually have one more question. And it's the most important. Oh, I don't give a shit. It's it's the most what? important. Actually, there's two more questions. First first we'll uh oh. first we'll ask the first question and then we'll do a follow-up question. So the most okay. important, the very most the most important question when it comes to ghosts. If ghosts can walk through walls, how can they also move stuff and throw things? We went the wrong way. Hey, we're back at our house. Yeah, we're supposed to go this way. How'd you get that cool backpack? I don't know. It was just there. Okay, what what was the question again? Wow, Sorry. you didn't even listen I'm to the going. most important question. Listen, Sad. I'm going this way. Sad. If ghosts are invisible, how can you? Yeah. What? <laughs> if they can go through walls, how can they move? Yeah, exactly. If, if, if yeah, exactly. So, um, are they tangible or are they not tangible? All right. I want. Depends to on. Depends on their personality. I don't know. If they're <laughs> what sentient, they're feeling like at on... the time. Like, if they're angry, I they mean, can touch stuff, and they're tangible, but if yeah. they're in a chill mood, yeah. they're just like, I'm just going to walk on through this wall right here. Depends on the type of ghost. Depends on if they're, let's say, being a ghost is like a superpower. You're dead, and you came back. Okay, you could make yourself... I guess that's a pretty good explanation for it. 
I'll accept it. Is, I'll accept but, that as, a, that's, as an answer. But that's giving you, you know, that ghosts aren't some anomaly or something. That's, that's they're sentient beings. Yeah. Like, they actually have thoughts and feelings. Although they is, don't have is a that would have to be... Or do they? Well, they wouldn't... They, ghosts would be nothing but... Consciousness? Feelings. Like, yeah. That, that's basically it, is it would be their feelings at this point, you know? Yeah, that's all they really are, are their feelings and their... Like, maybe ghosts are just, like, the energy of your right. emotions, and when you die, they're released into the... The wilderness. And that could the be it. I mean, that could be it too. I don't know. Just hey, Gunter. Yeah. We're going this way now. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go. I gotta run from these zombies. They're catching up to me. I'm almost out of stamina too. It's okay. I got Gosh. you. Anyways, Gosh. what's your what's your follow up question? My follow up questions. Question? My follow up question is: Do you think poop has ghosts? Like when you poop. poop? What context? Like we eat animals, so our yeah. poop is ghosts, or or, or sure. what? No, oh, know. sure, it's, sure. It's you a, didn't think that far. I don't. I don't know. It's a it's a King of the Hill reference. <laughs> it's something we'd have to I ask have Dale no Gribble. Clue. It was originally his question. I don't know in what context, honestly. But let's pretend. Let's pretend it was my question. So yeah. Do you think, you know, do you think our intestines right, let, could well, be filled with ghosts of the animals we've eaten? Well, no, because you void your bowels if any remains, so. <laughs> but there could be residual, could be residual ghosts in there. Oh, yeah, let's, let's drive the car back. Let's do All that. Right. That's what we're going to do. Let's drive the car back, and then we'll end the episode there. I'm coming! Bitch. The car's almost out of fuel. You're gonna attract I just zombies. Want you to know that. We'll, we'll get some more gas. It's fine. Bye, Charlie. <laughs> Bye, Charlie. Eat dicks. Uh, he's stuck. Charlie, you're dumb. <laughs> Run him over. There you go. Come on. Come on, Charlie. You can do it. Come on, buddy. You got it. Keep giving it it all. Keep giving it your all. He's, he's 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 not even trying. Charlie. You're not even trying. Charlie, now we're you leaving run. now. You are gonna get. Sh Jesus. Oh my gosh, Charlie is just. I'm Let him die. No, we're it's gonna Darwinism. take him back. We're gonna take him back and leave him. The ghost of Charlie can play with us next time. <laughs> there you go. The ghost of Charlie. Beautiful. That's a beautiful way to end it. Do you have anything else to add? Joey. Uh, ghosts aren't real. When you die, ghosts you die. Real. And we're alone in the universe. Wasn't that the I'm way just going to end every stream time? with that. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do that every time. So, if you ever feel happy for any reason, just remember you're going to die You alone. should be sad. sad and there's no afterlife. <laughs>